Okay. So you're called to a uh, scene. You're about 10 minutes from the nearest hospital. It's a uh, row of apartments. Uh, you have a PCP partner and a fire department responding with you. Uh, called to a 28-year-old female, fourth pregnancy. Um, 30 would procreate gives you third trimester childbirth. Right, so when sure. you arrive on That's scene, sure. she says, I'm 38 weeks. Basically, I guess maybe a family member tells you when you get on scene. So she is, she does have an addiction to uh, substance, drugs. Okay. As her fourth pregnancy uh, and no prenatal care. Okay. Uh, when you walk in, bathroom floor is always, uh, baby's already out, placenta is not delivered, uh, baby is limp on the floor. Oh dear. Okay, uh, let's get baby on to, is mom conscious? <laughs> yep, she's awake and, uh, okay, well let's put baby in the bag, and get pop on mom, and uh, let's, um, if you, I'm going to grab stuff for airway, and if you want to clamp and tux, um, uh, we're completely, we've, we're kind of delayed court clamping babies completely unresponsive right now, no evidence, no crying, no tone, so no a little bit of stimulation, uh, there's no muscle tone at all, um, Movement. No movement at all, no muscle tone, no breathing, no crying. No secretions? Uh, so, no secretions. No. Okay, we clamped a cut cord. We're going to move baby over to where we can work on baby. Okay, uh, partner, can you get uh, her, the monitor, cardiac monitor, and ask you to get two on? So, sure, uh, no breathing, uh, open airway, we can align the airway. Yeah, and then it makes no difference with breathing. Okay, uh, and no secretions in the airway right now. Correct. And with stimulation, no breathing currently. Nothing, correct. Okay, we're going to try our bag valve mask. <clears throat> Let me know when the monitor's on. Yeah. So I got my monitor, I got my, I got my chest, I got a seal on, and do I have chest rise and fall with my bag valve mask? I see chest rise and fall. Breathe, uh, baby, breathe, yes, baby. Breathe, baby, breathe, baby, breathe, baby, breathe, baby. Breathe, baby, uh, breathe. The initial heart rate is, um, so this is 10 minutes after birth now. You oh, know, okay. Uh, you're, not, you're taking the words out of my mouth. Yeah, there's no uh, heart rate actually. Okay. Breathe, baby, breathe, <coughs> baby, breathe, baby, breathe, baby, breathe, baby. Do you want to come over here and uh, take uh, uh, the bag valve mask? Sure. Breathe, baby, breathe, baby, breathe, baby, breathe, baby. So I'm seeing good chest rise and fall with that currently. Um, and uh, so with the positive pressure ventilation, we've been doing that for about 30 seconds. Of 50. And, and we get a heart rate of 50. But we're going to start chest compressions. Can you come watch me do this? Uh, we're going to set a metronome to 120, and we're going to time this. And I want I'm going to get you to do this, okay? So I just want you to watch me do it, okay? Okay. One, two, three. 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 See how far I'm pushing? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, can you try that? Put your hands around and just show me. Just do it from this side, maybe. Yeah. One, two, three. So you are One, noticing adequate, adequate chest rise with the BBM. Heart rate remains at 50. Okay, heart rate of 50. I'm going to go turn my oxygen up to uh, 10 liters. Okay, I'm at 10 liters. I'm, in, I'm gonna find my resource. And I'm gonna review where I'm at. We're doing chest compressions and we currently have chest rise and fall. And SATs are terrible and what's heart rate currently? Uh, 50. Okay, you're gonna set a timer to reassess in one minute. <clears throat> so we had apnea, uh, we had a heart rate less than 100. <clears throat> we got a pulse oximeter, an oximeter on and we have um, cardiac monitor on heart rate is less than 100. And we're currently ventilating. I'm gonna work through Mr. Sofa. Sure that we've got good mass seal. Uh, can we just stop compression just one second? And I just want to move hands. Let me just see. But we're going to great chest rise and fall. Okay, back to chest compressions. And <coughs> the airway is in neutral position. And I'll throw an OPA in. Let's just throw it here for a second and see if that helps. As well. Yeah, and see if that helps. Okay, if you want to just stop compression just for one second. Breathe. Good air entry. 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 Okay, back to compressions, please. Okay, another firefighter, I, I, who's gonna be my replacement compressor, come watch, uh, so you can do exactly this. Two, three. Can you, can you watch their chest compression? Yeah, so I'm gonna set a timer again. So we've done mess, we've suctioned the nose as needed. Just move hands for a second, if we're not getting good chest rise. Okay, 
Okay, we got chest rise and fall again? Yeah, let me know if you lose it again. We have to make sure we get good chest rise and fall. Okay. You'll squeeze the back. Okay, we're gonna pull that face into the jaw. Pull face up. Jaw into the mask, not mask to the face. Okay. Good, and off the bone. Yeah, just on the bone. Okay, just stop for a second. Can I see chest rise? Okay, great, let's go back. Okay, we're a two person. We are getting good chest rise and fall, and we're doing chest compression. The algorithm says now, so I'm through Mr. I'm to the advanced airway. It says that if I'm, if I'm doing chest compressions, we've given oxygenation, we're currently warming the baby, and I've got a one minute timer. What's my heart rate currently? Uh, it's unchanged. Okay, so we're still 60 or so 50. Um, and sats are unchanged as well. They're still well below what they should be. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to yeah, intubate this child, because uh, we're to an advanced airway, we're doing chest compressions and we're about 100% oxygen. After I intubate, we're gonna get uh, a line available. Can we call for another truck, please? Let's look at my gestational age. Uh, we said that we were 38. Uh, so we are going to three and a half endotracheal tube, insert it to eight and a half centimeters, and we're using a King LT size zero uh, as we're going. Okay, so blade, get my blade. We want it three and a half. The timer's going off on my watch again, so it's one minute. Let me just stop for a second. Um, and uh, let's see, heart rate, what's the heart rate, rate now? On okay, uh, and we'll right back on chest compressions, please. Let us exactly. switch compressors. Uh, Do we have another compressor? Let's okay. get another compressor. Who's, who's up for next? Come, uh, my next firefighter, if you wanna come around the corner just on this side so you can watch compressions, I'm gonna have you do the next two minutes yeah, after this. Good. Just go around so that you can watch exactly what's happening so you can mimic it perfectly. So I've got my endotracheal tube with the smaller size. I got my entitled CO2, I'm gonna hook that up. <coughs> uh, my alarm is going off again. My goodness, it's about like 10 seconds. Uh, now my King LT, I've got a size zero with a syringe, tested my cuff. We got that ready to go. Okay, just one second. Can we stop compressions? I'm just concerned about do we get chest rise? Okay, let's pull, yeah, pull jaw, pull jaw up, not push mass down. Okay. Let's just stop for one second. I just need to see some, Yep, okay, back. Great. Just need to see good chest rise and fall. <clears throat> Great job. We're at another minute. Let's just check our pulse here for a second. Just stop compressions for a moment. On to new compressor. Can you please come in? Partner, can you start reminding me every one minute we're gonna uh, cycle comp uh, compressors uh, and yeah. we'll check heart rates. I'm setting a timer here, okay. but if you don't mind watching heart rates uh, when you're doing ventilations, that would be helpful for me to know. So we've got a one minute timer. Compressor, I'm gonna need you again in just the next cycle, so we're gonna start cycling you. So I'm going over. Uh, you wanna get ready with my endotracheal tube, please, in hand. This, I want, want the size three, three or I want the three for the mannequin, oh, but three and a half. No, that's the, the King LT. Oh. Okay, I, I got a, a grade, oh, of course. Okay. Nope, okay, we're gonna commit. We'll throw the King LT, it's gonna stick. But we'll just say the King LT is in, put it down firm, inflate, seats. Let's put the bag valve mask on, please. Uh, yeah, and uh, we're just going to pull back until we get good chest rise and fall. Okay, we'll s good chest rise and fall with the King LT? Yeah. Okay, let's put the entitled CO2 on. Can you hold that with your fingers right there? And uh, Okay, can we start compressions again? <clears throat> okay, so we have an advanced airway. I failed at the end. I couldn't get the tube into. I'm going to get an IO ready for this patient. So we're gonna pull out our 15 millimeter set. Uh, so we've got a 15 millimeter, I don't have, we've got our drill. So we're gonna say it's 15, so I've got my drill. Um, and uh, we're at another minute, partner. Uh, just stop for a second. What's heart rate? Unchanged. Unchanged, okay, back on compressions. Let's actually change compressors, please. And can you coordinate that we're at least rotating them every two minutes? Okay. Make sure and keep continually evaluating chest compression depth. Two fingers together in the middle of the sternum. And we're confident we're getting good chest rise and fall. Okay, uh, so I got my 
lock or flushed. Okay, I got my <coughs> device to secure, secure, and my alcohol swab. Okay, we're gonna go to leg. Try to palpate. Let's see if I can palpate anything as far as a growth plate. We're gonna be down at least a finger length below. Sharp out here, folks, okay? I know we're at one minute. Um, I'm just gonna get this in place here. Okay. Don't bump this, please. Okay. Sharp out. Sharp away. Any flash? Oh, any flashback? Okay. And I've advanced and able to uh, put uh, able able to put five cc's in. Okay, I'm just gonna disconnect. Okay, let's uh, let's yeah, let's stop and evaluate heart rate now, please. So uh, heart rate is still on change forty eight. Okay, folks, uh, this is a needle in this child's bone here. Uh, it's it quite a ways because they're small and we need not to bump this, okay? So it's secured and taped, but let's just be cautious around that um, to not bump this leg, please. <clears throat> so heart rate is still down. <clears throat> we are ventilating. I'm just gonna check my algorithm here. We're ventilating. Um, we're confident we're getting good chest rise and fall. Can we just stop compressions for a second? Can I see chest rise and fall? Getting good chest rise and fall back on compressions, please. What's our SPO2? Uh, what is our SPO2? Uh, it's not reading. Not reading? We're on oxygen. <clears throat> we are on 10 liters already. I think that's enough with their tidal volume. Let's go to 15. Do you mind turning that to 15 liters per minute, please? Give it a sugar, yeah. And uh, we've worked through Mr. Sopa. We've got an advanced airway. Uh, let's put uh, PEEP That's on. 80%. Let's put PEEP on at 5, uh, please, with that extra glottic. That's five. 80%. 80%. We're still low. Okay. Um, we're in heart rate is. <clears throat> Uh, we're at one minute again, so let's pause for a second. Sorry, I can't see it when, so pause. We're at what? 48. Okay, let's switch compressors, please. Uh, we're not improving, so let's go through that cardio just before we intimate. So we're gonna chest rise and fall, which I confirmed just a minute ago. Uh, we have an advanced airway. It's not an endotracheal tube, but I feel like I'm getting good chest rise and fall. Uh, so that will have to do for the time being. I think that's okay. If I didn't have a good chest rise and fall, I'd go to endotra try an endotracheal tube again, but this is doing the job. Depth, we are definitely, um, compressors, make sure we're getting one third of the chest down. So a little deeper, please, and full require. Great, um, we're providing 100% oxygen. Let's check the temperature in this child. Um, what's our uh, auxilia temperature? Uh, it's uh, 36.2. Okay, we're still a bit on the cold side. Um, so I think I'm gonna prepare the epi and we need to keep warm and I wanna see that kid above 36.5 before we get into epi for this kid. I don't want to give them epi if they don't need it. Do you want to check? 6.9, so blood sugar is okay. Okay, we're gonna warm and I'm gonna prepare for the next dose. The next place that we're going is possibly epi. Uh, partner, am I missing anything? I can think of. Okay, anybody else have anything comments? Uh, I'm gonna go to my epi, we're at 38 weeks. Um, so we're going uh, with 0 0.02 milligrams per kilogram or 0 0.2 mils per kilogram and we're at 38 so that's 0 0.65 milliliters. Partner can you just look at this? I got 38 weeks. I'm following down uh, my epi for IV, mm -hmm. 0 0.2 mils per kilogram and I arrived to six, 0 0.68 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Sound right? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to prepare 0 0.68 Milli, uh, uh, milliliters of epi. I have my epi, <laughs> and uh, we're going to evaluate. It's been a minute. Let's stop compressions. Heart rate's still fifty. Heart rate's still fifty. What is my axillary temperature now? Am I up to thirty-six uh, five? Okay, so we're warm enough. We've got compressions going. Good compressions. Good ventilations, and we've gone through cardio. So we're going to consider hypovolemia and uh, intention pneumothorax. Um, neck veins, no history, no blood loss from the cord that I can see. Uh, wasn't cut when we got here, so assuming not. Uh, as far as uh, complexion on child, uh, eyelids seem pale. Do I see evidence of anemia? Uh, okay, and jugular veins, uh, can I see any kind of... Nothing obvious. Nothing obvious as far as flat neck veins. 
Um, okay, uh, doesn't seem we rolled it. Hypovolemia and hypoxia. Okay, we're to epi. Uh, so we're going 0 0.65 mils, four minutes. So we're going to set a timer. So I'm going to push my epi is in, and we're going to flush with three mils of fluid. Okay, three mils. Time to reassess, and I'm going to set a timer, and we'll drop another one. So let's. Uh, so we're going to set a timer for two. Or sorry, four minutes for my epi. We're ventilating. Let's stop and look at heart rate for a second. What's heart rate? You're noticing that it's above 60 now. Okay, let's stop minutes. compressions and ventilation. Can we go Up to, to breathe, baby, breathe, baby? And I'll set you a metronome at 40. of epi if I need that. So I'll get a new blunt and uh, confirm my dose again for a 38-week 30, <coughs> uh, 30 child. My alarm's off a minute again. Can we please just check heart rate again? Look at heart rate. Still 90. Can you watch that heart rate and let me know if it approaches 60? <coughs> if you don't mind, that would be great. And SpO2 is? 90%. 90%. Okay. Uh, the 38 weeks, 0 0.65, 0 0.65 five milliliters of epi. That's the end of the running board. <laughs> I'm so happy. 